ask your question again. So I'm saying if you're a resident or resident or citizen of a Muslim country such as Iran or yeah. Saudi Arabia, what are the repercussions for being a Christian inside those Muslim yeah. countries? So ladies and gentlemen, we must we must raise a voice to the fact that in every single Muslim country in the world, without exception, Christians are being persecuted. No. In Qatar, for instance, in Qatar, for instance, he said in Qatar, for instance, Christians live as second class citizens. They don't have the same rights as Muslims. In Iran, Christians don't have the same right as Muslim citizens. In Saudi Arabia, Christians don't have the same right as Muslim citizens. In Pakistan, Christians are being bombed. Christians are being persecuted. He's feeding, yeah, good. So my point is, ladies and gentlemen, we must recognize that when Muslims dominate a society, Christians are persecuted. And that means that every Christian has a stake in the fight to roll back Islamization everywhere around the world. And we can and we have, like they did in South Sudan. Like they did, like they did, ladies and gentlemen, in the Caucasus. Like they are doing in Indonesia. Like they are doing in Iran. All right, another question is, I mean, politically, we're seeing um, the political party of Nigel Farage offering a net zero migration of, and most importantly, getting rid of all the sympathizers of Hamas, ISIS, Taliban. What do you support this 100 percent? OK, so the question is, do I support Nigel Farage's position that we should deport every Islamist sympathizer? Yes. And all of you should support that political position as well. Britain should be absolutely intolerant of every Islamist in this park. Every Muslim who is calling for Sharia law in this park should be deported. They should lose their citizenship and we should shut them out of our country. And let's be clear what is at stake. In the last three years, Islamists have tried to murder three Christians in this park. Three murder attempts of Christians in this park. Brothers and sisters, the Islamists are serious. They are not playing. They are determined to win. And that means, brothers and sisters, that we must be equally determined to win. We must be equally determined to destroy, not tolerate, not live in a multicultural society, not live side by side celebrating difference, but we must be absolutely determined in the United Kingdom and across the Western world to grind to the bone every Islamist network in the country to send every Islamist scurrying into the sewers like a rat and there exterminate them as the filth that they are. We must not tolerate their speech, their politics or their ambitions here in the UK. Because if you do and if they succeed, we Christians will be persecuted. Any other question? Oh, go on. Uh, one more question, because I know everybody else has questions. How should the UK specifically, the country of the United Kingdom, respond to Azerbaijan's persecution of Armenian Christians? Because nobody talks about this in the media. OK, ladies and gentlemen. So the British media like to talk a lot about Palestine and about what is happening in Palestine, according to Israel and the uh, the Hamas-run terrorist state of Gaza. But how many of you have heard about Azerbaijan's ethnic cleansing 
of 140,000 Christians in Armenia last year. How many of you heard about that? You didn't, because the liberal media don't want to talk about the persecution of Christians in Azerbaijan's occupation of Greater Armenia. Brothers and sisters, we as Christians must be the voice for our Armenian Christian brothers and sisters that the liberal media refuses to be. We must find our voice for them. We must push our governments to send military aid to Armenia to stand up against Azerbaijan. We must work internationally to isolate Azerbaijan, to boycott Azerbaijan. And we must call out that hypocrite Putin who claims and who wants to present himself as the defender of the Orthodox Church when the only three times that he has mobilized his armies was to kill Orthodox Christians in the Ukraine, in Georgia, and um, in um, oh, and by allowing Azerbaijan to persecute and destroy Armenian Orthodox communities. The Orthodox Russian Church should condemn Putin's foreign policy and call for solidarity with Armenian Christians against Azerbaijan. We must also call out Israel. Israel that allows drones to be sold to Azerbaijan that is being used to destroy the Armenian people in that region. As Christians, our solidarity is with Armenian Orthodox Christians against anyone that allows them to persecute them. Thank you very much. Okay. God bless you. Thank you.